Bahamians deserve better, and according to one cabinet minister, that's exactly what they will get. Triggering that response, the criticisms being levied at the government in its attempt to remove the remaining Dome City dwellers over in Hurricane Battered Abaco. Weighing in on the controversy, the Social Services Minister insists, though, that the Minnesota administration's six-plus million dollar project was never the right fit. Cleopatra Murphy picks up the story from here. Not for Bahamians. Minister of Social Services and Urban Development, the Honorable Obi Wilchcombe's response to some of the backlash government has received since the demolition of Abaco's Dome City Thursday, just one week after the third anniversary of Hurricane Dorian's destruction. Uh, we have to appreciate Bahamians should be living in no dome. We shouldn't be accepting that. I don't care how temporary it is, the dome should never have even been here. That's my view. Leader of the opposition Michael Pintard blasted the Davis administration's actions as callous and heartless after bulldozers tore down those domes, as he says, without building adequate replacements for families occupying them. Former Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, also called the domes' destruction inhumane and heartless, defending that they were meant as temporary shelters after Abago had been decimated by the Category 5 monster storm, Hurricane Dorian. The Minister of Social Services, however, is adamant Bahamians deserve better. Why would a politician put a person in a dome? Would he live in it? If he's in difficulty, does he want his mother or his father or his sister to live in those conditions? He wants to, does he want to be sitting down with mold all around, not having ventilation? Does he want that? No, he doesn't. So why do we subject our people to it? I get angry, really angry, when I see people believing that it's okay to put a Band-Aid over the issue. That's not the problem. Fix the issue. You have the country's wealth to fix the issue. You're talking to people, you're boasting about what you're doing, you're telling everybody about all the money you're bringing in. Well, why didn't you fix that? And why didn't you move people into a proper environment? Dome City residents had been given an initial deadline of August 28th to vacate the premises, with the Department of Social Services offering $4,000 to help residents find alternative housing. Wilchcombe says approximately 40 families received help from social services. Don't subject people to what you don't want for yourself. And so I don't support the domes. I'm supportive of the minister's work to get uh, people into homes and to build the homes. She's very aggressive in her work, and I think she's going to get it done. According to Minister of Housing and Transport, the Honorable Jo Beth Colby Davis, the plan is to construct at least 300 homes on Abaco within the next year, with a housing subdivision intended at the Dome City site in Spring City. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.